Last time on Game Grumps. You've taught me something today, Makoto. The importance of endurance. I did? Well, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hurrah! I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt! Alright, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! Please don't. Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Game Grumps! Hello, it's such a pleasure to see you all. Mm -hmm. I wish I could kiss each and every one of you, but I can't because there is a... Uh, a, a reunion tour going on that is just preventing all of that. You shouldn't kiss anybody. What, never? Ne ever. Like, not my wife, <laughs> or...? <laughs> no! Are you trying to get us all killed?! Stop kissing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's dumb. All right. Please, continue. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Alright, I'm gonna go look around and see what's going on. You, you, can, you can also, um, like, lie in your bed if you just want to skip to the next... past well, the free time. Why would I want to do that? I want to see what everyone's up to. Okay. I just want to... I want to get to know these characters a little bit more, you know? It's like, they're... They're, they're wild Go to the rec room. And then I can... I can talk to Celeste, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, Celeste, yeah! <laughs> Oh, she's not there. Fuck. Dang. Oh. <laughs> I've lost her! <laughs> I'll never get her back. Oh, there she is. How fickle is the human heart? <laughs> Wait, is this the floor I'm on? Oh, I am. She's in the kitchen. Why is she in the kitchen? Huh. The, the, the. Is she in the kitchen with Dinah? Someone's in the kitchen. I know. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, it's my two faves. Sorry, two yes, faves. Sir. I'm going to my least fave, but not least whatever. Here we go. Okay. My fave, but least fave. Ah, Makoto, I should tell you, I have recently seen the shadow of death upon you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little joke. Uh, funny, funny stuff. Well, should I hang I'd out with I'd love to spend some time with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would seem I'm growing used to your deplorable face. This is another aspect of an adaptation, I suppose. Sweet. Wow. I'm so glad she I... She has a way. Yeah. Despite her thinly veiled insults, I spent some time with Celeste. They weren't that thinly veiled. Yeah. Celeste and I grew a little closer today, I guess. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes, definitely. Would you like to give her? Do I have anything, like, gambling related in here? Good question. Where on your right hand? Look for love. On your left, you found it. Both? Well, that's just asking for catastrophe. School and blazing stands to prove friendship between those who spend their youth together. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you try to wear it on both hands, that'll be catastrophe. Your fingers will break trying to wedge them both in there. <laughs> That's right, these pants. Oh. Ah, it just so happens that the one thing I was hoping for has appeared before me. It must be a gift from the heavens. I have since soiled all of my bloomers, so that is nice. Oh. I will receive it happily. Does that mean she likes it? Let's see. Say, Makoto, do you like Mahjong? Um, I've never actually played. That's so. The pity, I was hoping we might play together. Are you- Are you good at it? Oh, I love Mahjong! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can play! Good? No, I am not nearly good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahjong and won. Russian Roulette? Well, I would roulette. assume you won. Yeah. <laughs> it was a truly fierce contest put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. The rules were, I win. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted looks on their faces. The crowd that had been invited to watch became positively riotous. Nobody would could believe I had won. <laughs> that is one of my fonder memories. Cool. Great. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahjong with her. Well, I'm in love. Well, good for you, Aaron. Happy for you. Thanks, man. Unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Uh, really had to fucking pinch a shit, dude. All right. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. All right. 
Welcome to the scene you'd most like to skip. <laughs> yeah, bed bugs, yeah. How, how do they not make a ding dong bing bong shirt? Like, I don't even understand. Yeah, it's very catchy. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Because it's nighttime. Right. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go to sleep at the time I'm supposed to. Well, it is building on previous dreams. Yeah. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day! Because every new day deserves celebrating, once so... Again. Once again, Happy New Day! <laughs> oh, thank you, Robot Bear. I had the most inspiring dream last night. <laughs> <laughs> the guy trying to kill us said, have a good day. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Uh, uh, I better get to the dining hall. Uh, shit. Leave the area. Boy, chapter three really takes its time with people getting murdered. Yeah. Hopefully somebody will be dead this morning. Uh, I mean... Uh... <laughs> Did you remember you could run at the last second? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I saw it like Bodhi do. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Taka and Kyoko are not here today. No. Uh-oh. Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Probably on murder duty. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um, you don't have to get so mad. They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Don't put me on the same level as that that virgin. <laughs> I might catch his virginity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> Fucking virgin Taka and the Chad Hifumi. <laughs> 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 Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar, let's eat breakfast, I got dones. But as soon as my hands approached my food... <laughs> oh, here she is. Oh dear. Who is it? I don't know. It's our special lady. It's huh? Toko. That voice! The doors to the dining hall exploded open, and a figure appeared. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. Oh boy, great to have you back, Sweet. Genocide Jill. Love her. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. <laughs> we had sexual Good relations. to see you, Byakya. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second. You? Huh? What's your top power level? Like... Three, five, twenty-two, thirty-three. You start out big on top to try and look thinner down you south. So look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? <laughs> you start to freak me out. Starting? <laughs> if you lay a finger on here now, I will show you no mercy! So what do you want? Truly, you are not here to join us for breakfast. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? The story of who killed somebody. A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? The Sorry. Three Billy Goats Gruff. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now in front of the cameras or else they'd know. Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Until now you haven't given a crap about anything and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it, man. I'm gonna smother you in my hair. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. What kind of messed up dictator are you, bro? It's fucking so uncool. <laughs> so what is he planning on getting out with everybody or? I thought he was just gonna win. Yeah, I don't know. But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're do- what the fuck are you talking about? Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Oh, off? <laughs> Is it that his eyes were flaming? <laughs> and his hair had turned from black to white? Taka has become utterly useless, and also really hot. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? No, he went super saiyan. Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. Wow, so, so deep. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. 
Interesting. Ignorance. Interesting. <laughs> Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward! Disappear, Flash. Yeah. Alright, Byakuya, see ya. That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? It seems that I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Ooh, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here! Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. I don't, you don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> Whoa. That doesn't make any sense. Byaki has started to slowly back out of the room. It, whoa, jeez. He started picking up speed as soon as he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He ran away? Now he's running hard to get at see. He, 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 he. Oh boy. So at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um, it was just a waste of just everyone's now, time. <laughs> yeah, just now Byaki was like... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Guess so. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> Let's eat. Th those of us left the those of us left in the dining hall finished our break fast, then went back to our rooms. I've got some free time today. God, I wish someone would just get murdered already. Yeah. I'm busy. What to do today? Um guess I'll go talk to people. Leave the area. Talk to some homies. Talk to my my homies. Talk to homies. Homies like to talk to me. Homies <laughs> don't play that way. Hmm. Kyoko, Hifumi. Maybe hanging out with Kyoko could be interesting. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. Whoops. <laughs> What are you doing? Because <laughs> I feel like Kyoko's the, you know, the, the inside. The linchpin. Yeah, the player. Why? Yeah. Who set all this up, and why did they choose us? There's so many mysteries that I know the answer to. Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko yeah. for a while? Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do with it as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. Okay. Yeah. I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Cool. I had a really great time today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. What would you like to give her? Um... Uh, herbal tea, the brooding wellness, some essential, essential elegance, coffee... Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know anything about her. Shoot, not the hidden hair clip, not the love status. I feel like Hope's peak ring would be like she would be the only one. Hmm. G sick. <laughs> Leaf covering. Oh, the hand bra. You would love that, right? She Lame. seems like that type of person. Hmm. Adorable reactions. Rose in vitro. Good for both hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. She would probably like this. Because, I mean, what's her face didn't like it? Celeste? So who Zantetsuken? Else would... No, not the sword, the rose whip. Oh, well, yeah. You, you gave it to Celeste and she liked it. Oh, she liked it? I thought she didn't like it. Oh, I don't know. I, th I thought she did. Doesn't let you hear the other person on the other end. It doesn't let them hear you. So it doesn't Great. work. Great. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Fastball? Yeah. Oh, alien intervention. That's That seems like a hero thing. Oh, yeah. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, that's where I did that one. Millennium Prize Problems. Uh, no. <laughs> tips and tips. Hints and codes of every game released. That's pretty obvious. Oh, Maiden's handbag. Oh, fanfic fans. Okay. Vice. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. Someone's graduation album. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what to give her. Yeah, what the fuck are the Bajobo dolls? 
Seeds and coconut fiber. They're Buddhist prayers. Oh, that's cool. Um, well, fuck. The chin drill, obviously. Yeah, what did it say all the way at the bottom? There's something at the bottom? No. Oh. I guess it was Crazy Diamond. Fuck, I don't know. I have no idea with her. Um, the only one I felt like sort of confident about was... What was it? The whip. Okay, give it a shot. Correct. Oh, she liked it. Oh, great. Cool. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Are you scared, Makoto? Very, all the time, huh? Being trapped in a place like this. Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared being trapped in this insane Correct. school. Ah, that's good. That's good? So... People taste better when they're afraid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Ooh. Okay. The man who fears nothing, loves nothing. <laughs> It's from Sean Connery from First Night. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. I'm scared too, of course. Trust me. But not so scared that I can't execute a perfect half Windsor knot on this tie of mine. <laughs> I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. That's healthy. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, I really don't understand. I'm trying so hard. I know. <laughs> See if you can wrap that tiny skittle of a pea brain around this <laughs> shit. She didn't bother answering any further, she just Goodbye. turned and... Goodbye. And with that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. Haha, <laughs> bye. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Kyoko's report. Yeah, card. and I don't still think works. that I don't think that gift worked either. Well, no, I don't, no, it, it, it made the good sound. You think so? Yeah, it was like the blue. We've we've given a bad gift before, and it was like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I think we get we tried to give Hifumi like a watch or something and he was like, this sucks. And I was like, hey, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> I still have some time. I can't just sit around doing nothing. I should go find something to do. Alright. Alright. We'll fucking do. Leave the area. Uh oh hey. Oh, let's hang out with Toko. <laughs> oh god, please no. <laughs> I don't give a toot about you! <laughs> Where am I to wow. go? Tell me or I'll kill you! Mm, it's a really good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack. Fuck yeah. Alright, you can help me track down Master! This is awesome. Great! Genocide <laughs> Jack and I chased after Byakuya for a while. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Yeah, I'm gonna give her a present. Uh... Scissors seems like the obvious choice, but then again she doesn't yeah. like the scissors. I think go for it anyway. Yeah? What else would it be? Yeah... I mean, do I have anything that's like particularly murderous? Self-destructing cause that's kind of funny. Yeah, alright, fine. The fucking scissors. Okay. What about Oblat? What the fuck is that? Candy wrapper. Huh. Okay. Alright. Let's do the scissors. Give. She hates it. Is this? You, it's a bomb disguised as a present. You're working with everyone else to try and kill me. Well, allow me to return the favor, you bastard. I think oh, I made crap. her mad. She probably thinks worse of me now. Well, well that didn't work. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I guess you'll never be friends with the crazy murderer. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Time to comfortably sleep at night. Something by the door. Oh, hello. It's a piece of paper. Looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Me in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But uh, but to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. 
Guess I better go walk around at nighttime in the murder school to yeah. meet a mysterious person. Guess I have to ding dong this whole bing bong. <laughs> it's not ding dong bing bong yet. Yeah. It's not Yo. ding bing dong bong. Oh, Makoto. Hero, then the letter I found Hero. in my room. Yup, I wrote it. <laughs> Your handwriting is really mm. nice. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. I thought you didn't All right, believe well, in ghosts. Yeah, and I never had that, but okay, well, I guess it was good good motivation in kindergarten. Yeah. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Oh, I just did with what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually. I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? No. Okay, let's do it. No, no, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. How fucking dense can you be? <laughs> it's like, literally, it's already been established that going to the bathhouse is code for let's meet. I know. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. And why didn't it just say, meet me in the bathhouse, instead of, meet me in the dining hall? Like, why write a dining hall note? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Yeah. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. You. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting?! Sorry, man. <laughs> it's cool. Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> so, shut up. What? <laughs> What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Oh. Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that <laughs> mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> Talking shit. Heck? How rude! A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master! Mm, are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Shut up! Hey, come on! Shut up! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with alter ego, right? right. Yeah, totally! Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Some dones? <laughs> okay, I guess I will talk to Kyoko. Yes. It's gone. Gone! I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. Oh no! No way! You're kidding, right? Oh. Um, eh, what? She's gone? You. you can't be fudging serious! What'd you do with him? <laughs> Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? Or maybe it's just a fucking computer program on a laptop and it wouldn't know how to scream. It's CompuBra. <laughs> I was in the laundry room- oh. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him! Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? what? I'm the ultimate moral compass! I would never do something like that! I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Jeez. Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. You're, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <sighs> Wrong, it's you. Well, this'll get us somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? Hello. I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Fumi came into the dressing room. Oh, okay. What? what? It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. 
But I never heard any yell. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. Uh, who was it? So that's who is it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hufumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Oh, amazing detective work! <laughs> this guy sucks! Mak Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Thanks, genius. Why would any of us- Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? <laughs> One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. Ugh. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. It's definitely not me. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. Ever since I decided to become a spy. <laughs> the Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? Uh... Traitor? No, it's impossible! Something that horrible, there's no way, I can't believe it, etc, etc. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Shut the fuck up. I don't care. I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see your smiling face again. Alright, so Hifumi absolutely did it. Same here. <laughs> How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um, this is pretty messed up, but still I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right I here. See. So you're saying whoever see. did it... <laughs> what are we saying? No. Please continue. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man, I baby! Swear. I, will I swear her. I'll save her using the power of love. The power Don't take of money. Love. Don't take fame. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. <laughs> Ding dong, ding bing dong, bing bong. A little ding dong, bing bong. A little ding dong, bing bong. <laughs> yeah, uh, jeez, uh, uh, the days that's are that's just flying by. I know, man, they melt away. Nighttime. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep while I do a bunch of traitoring. How can you be so cool? We. Ha, oh, excuse me. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more efficient after a good night's sleep while I trade her around in the night. Well, who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about feelings here! <laughs> Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you, I guess! If Didn't you, you just say it's very likely that the... the traitor is in this room right now? Yeah. So it doesn't matter how much you lower your voices, they're gonna still hear everything you say. Yeah, the traitor will hear you, shh, quiet. <laughs> if we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and we won't get anything done. Taka, Ifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if just for tonight you can try to endure it. Gah! This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. I will begin our search for Alter Ego right now- Ah, in the morning! <laughs> <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Uh, Alright, cool. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Yeah. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were- We were given hope! And then when that hope was taken away, despair! It's just like- it's like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Arthur Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true... Oh my god! No, it can't be, there's no way! I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. It's too bad the room is... W w soundproof. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! 
I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. I had the wiggles. A real bad case of the wiggles. <laughs> Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. A sleep nonetheless. It's time for one last Monokuma theater for the day. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, and with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have Sometimes, been abnormal. The murders Some... that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Damn, so true. Wow. Yo, Monokuma. Monokuma is like really making me think about life, man. <laughs> Ding dong, Yo. It's like, is he Monokuma or is he like Nietzsche? Right? Right? <sighs> anyway, next time on Game Grumps. Oh, gee whiz. Okay. Actually, can we play for two more minutes? I just want to see if anyone was murdered during the night. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a rise and shine, beautiful day. I have to look for alter ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. Surely someone's dead. When I found yeah, out yeah. what was waiting there for me. And what is it? Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's a sip. What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Yeah, oh, crappity. All right. There were only three people in the dining hall: Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko, including me. Only four people. All the people. dudes are gone. This is why I hate people who take their sweet time and everything. Anyway, let's wait a little longer for the others so we can take our sweet time. Right. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... Um... So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Why haven't the others come? I mean... Here on Celeste, I've never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Ifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Oh, you fucking think? <laughs> huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive... Oh, the money Ten thing. Ten million dollars! Uh, I forgot about I that. This graduation present for whichever lucky student make what right, right, right. It's tits yeah, time I ate macaroons. Yeah, 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 we've already seen it. Don't tell me something, someone did something. For money! <laughs> That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. I, you can never really know another person completely, so I understood. I definitely got where they were coming from. Anything can happen here. You can't consider it strange. Hey. Not really, so I understood. <laughs> we need to go look for the people who never showed up. Uh, okay, let's track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Okay. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. On our cell phones? I really hope nothing happens. <laughs> so do I. Mouth. <laughs> okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Here we stand. <laughs> Worlds apart, are broken in two. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school, which is where I was. Okay, I need to look around the first floor, which is where I was, and now I'm here. Take a peek. Take a little sneaky peek. A little sneaky peek. Nothing going on around here. Nothing going on. Whoa, what the fuck? What's in here? Oh, it's the main hall. It's the entrance. Get out of here, Buster. Let's keep on going. Oh, have we been to the nurse's office yet? I don't think so. Yeah, this no, this new. looks new. Oh, well, nobody in here. I mean, maybe I should just look on the- Whoa! Oh crap! Someone come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor! The third floor! There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. <laughs> I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. I can fly, so what? 
Right away. I saw her standing there in the hallway. Big deal. <laughs> Please. Makoto. You know what's wrong. Broken nail. The rec room door was open. When I looked inside, I saw, I saw. What did you see? I better get the others straight. I I'm going to get him. You go ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room. What did oh, you see crap. in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I left into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh, hey, Celeste. <laughs> it was Celeste. She was hurt. Um, okay. Alright. I guess we'll find out what happened to her next time on Game Rooms? God damn <laughs> it! <laughs> ah, Alright! Damn, these cliffhangers. I know. I know. Well, we'll see you next time. All right. Goodbye. Uh, man. <laughs> we'll find out next time, bro. Don't worry. All right. In a little All while, right. man. In a little while, man. <laughs> what do we do, what till, do, we do till then? <laughs> <laughs>